Hello everyone, we are representing from uh, Team Phoenix from Vipro. We did a uh, implementation and proposal to measure the customer order fulfillment in InfoRM3 using the software InfoRM3, InfoOS, Info Artificial Intelligence and uh, RPA. We developed a custom Android app. This is the infrastructure we used and the configuration we did in InfoRM3. We configured your customer order to create as a preliminary order. Once created, it will trigger the workflow. The workflow will create a task list which can be viewed in the customer order approver Phoenix workspace where it can where it will be approved and then it, the status will move from 10 to 44. The picking list will be automatically created. The created picking list will be downloaded by custom edge solution Android mobile app. The picker will complete the picking list and update from the Android mobile app to InfoRM3 warehousing interface which will move from status 61 proof of delivery required proof of delivery once it is completed the driver will send you a mail download the document into the local folder RPA will pick the item upload to IDM and the data flow will be triggered which will move the status from 61 to 60 ready for invoice and we will capture all the event data and export CSY for input to the process mining for confirmance, compliance and bottlenecks. Process mining is only conceptual, others are implemented. And we did a multi-legal search capability for the across the counter sales with the custom algorithm, trained with the MITMOS data model, predictive API and developed a info API, ION API flow to integrate JATGPT, info ION endpoint, item search. The searched item through the widget will be captured by the user and it will a yeah, customer order will be created through the OTC workspace widget and the flow will continue. This is the list of infor OS component inventories like configuring the M3 workspaces, API flows, data flows, activation policy workflow, AA, RPA, IDM component and the entire flow has been captured in a sequence diagram. We are going to do a multilingual search item. The item description is given in French language and then when we are performing a search, it will display a result. The result has been captured and we are going to create a order with this particular item number and the order has been created with 178. So this order is created with preliminary status. We will be going to into the approval workspace and this order 178 can be viewed in the workflow viewer. Let me approve it. Status 10 to 44 that is auto allocation, automatic creation of a picking list. This picking list will be downloaded in the custom edge solution. Android mobile app. Android app has been created as a authorized app in the Ion API gateway. And this is the workflow for the approval. And then your machine learning cost has been created, has been exposed as a Ion API flow. This one is the create order API flow, which is used in the widget for creating the order. And this one is the multilingual search capability api flow now we are going to the android app so using the android app we can click on tick click on the picking from here we will be able to scan the delivery number so the delivery number will be uh, 247 so we'll just scan the delivery number here we'll be able to uh, get associated details we can see the item number quantity order number description of the quantity and the location so once we click on this order everything is auto filled there is an option called flag complete and you can view the history here so now the uh, order status will be moved to status 66 and uh, the delivery order will be moved to status 61 and from there on the user will be doing proof of delivery so here we have received a ship ticket for 178 delivery number 247 which is under currently in 61 approval required so here we have a 61 required approval required and we have no document over here the rpa reads the document from our local folder so i'll run the rpa and we'll be making an ion api call to push the idm document and this got succeeded now it's refreshing it yeah so we got a document over here 247 and we got all the attributes from the rpa it's refreshing it it has moved to ready to invoice so whenever we upload a document so this is a bot generator now we will be monitoring it using an activation policy. So using this workflow, we will be changing the status of the order.